Hey, how's it going, Libra? It's Robin here. Welcome to my channel, Aries Fire Tarot. Guys, thanks for joining me for another reading. So I am prepping two decks to do your January 2022 bonus tarot card reading. I actually just, I was going to say stole the Major Arcana from the Angel Tarot card deck, but I mean, I didn't steal them. But anyway, so I had the Major Arcana and the Major Arcana, they represent massive life change happening in your life. And then I'm going to amplify the card that I pull here with the Crystal Visions Tarot card deck. So keep in mind, this is a general reading. This is for Libra in Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I just really hope you guys enjoy. Um, looking forward to your comments and a reminder to subscribe, please. So guys, I'm going to pull you guys a card here. So I pulled the Dreamer card here for you guys. And this card represents the fool in traditional tarot. So this is asking you to take a leap of faith. Um, follow your dreams and something else that I can't read here. Unexpected opportunities. Okay, so something could really be coming out of the blue here for you guys. And that would be very welcome. Okay, so let's just start pulling cards with the Crystal Vision Tarot card deck to amplify this dreamer. Okay, and something that is really important in this card is the presence of Archangel Metatron. Um, I've been doing tons of research on sort of spiritual and ascension and the depths that Archangel Metatron is involved in uh, so many things that are happening right now um, is just mind blowing. So this could be your new go to angel and you might want to do a little bit of research on Archangel Metatron here as well. But let's see a little bit more about an unexpected opportunity for you. And I'm going to start pulling cards here. So we do have the chariot card. So whatever is happening, it's going to come in very, very quickly. It could really, I'm getting an image of a revolving door. Uh, you know how they go super fast, you know, if you run through them, um, which is stupid, but fun. Um, it's that kind of energy that is going on. It could just put your life in a brand new direction. Okay. So, and this is you controlling everything. This is not going to be something that is at the whimsy of somebody else. So don't worry about it. You guys are clearly in charge. You've got the reins, you're seeing an opportunity and you're going for it. Okay. So I really love the opportunity that is going to present itself for you and the energy that you guys are going to be also blessed with in order to pursue it. Because sometimes you know, they say timing is everything. And what's that saying? Um, if you stay ready, you don't have to get ready. Okay, so that's going to be something that's really important for you guys too. If you've been attempting to manifest something, you better be prepared how to handle it. Like there's some things that people don't think about if they were to win a million dollars, what are you going to do with it then? Like who's going to handle your taxes? You know, if you're dreaming of manifesting a new relationship or a new job, have you planned out all the logistics? So that could be a really good exercise for you guys to do right now. Well, this is my manifestation. And when I get it, this is what I'm going to do with it. So it does look like you guys need to sort of control the circumstances that something is coming in because it's going to have the power of a freight train behind it. Um, wow. Okay. So you guys are really going to be pushed forward. And for those of you, and this is what I'm getting here too, that you could possibly be trying to escape the matrix in some way, sort of starting to realize how much potential as a, what is the word that I'm looking here for? Uh, sorry, master manifester ability. And you can see that, okay, new opportunity coming in, you guys not hesitating to go and chase it. And then your life being moved forward like a catapult with the wheel of fortune and this could have a lot to do with the flower of life as well you guys could be looking at different ways of manifesting maybe um you know putting more mental effort into it and working a little bit less okay so maybe do a little bit of research into archangel metatron and also if you're up for it do a little bit of research into the flower of life because this is also very important here for you guys i really see where you're tapping into 
previously unaccessed levels of being able to create using the power of your brain, okay? So um, thoughts become things. So you guys are really stepping up on that level from what I see here. Um, I mean, bringing in opportunities really quickly. So that's what you need to be prepared for as well because it's like you guys could think about something and then within 24 to 48 hours, it's there, if not faster. So you're going to have to adapt to that new ability that you're tapping into. And Archangel Metatron can definitely help you out with that, okay? So um, we do have the Five of Pentacles here. So this is kind of a warning for you guys to keep any thoughts of being impoverished or being in lack of not seeing your things manifest that you have been wishing for you have somebody that is very comfortable where they are and you can see the pentacles are right there so there's nothing to be afraid of everything is just so close to you it is so attainable for you so don't ever be worried that you're never going to achieve anything because it looks like you're you're just tuning in and tapping in. Um, you might want to watch a little bit of Abraham Hicks as well, just to sort of understand what is possible for you guys, because it's like you're kind of sitting in your source right now uh, and things are just kind of lurking, waiting to come out for you. Um, there was something else that I got here from my guides and it kind of receded a little bit. Okay, that's what it is. Okay, so... Just learn how to be really comfortable where you are, okay? Just really gracious and grateful. Um, you might wanna amp up your gratitude practice a little bit, that could help. I always call gratitude like the WD-40 of the universe, okay? It can really help things come in a little bit faster and it can really reduce any stress-related feelings towards abundance or what's taking so long for a manifestation to appear. So let me pull one more card here. So you do have the Page of Wands, okay? So lots of activity coming in. And what I really like about this is how this page is, she's playing the flute, okay? So there is a more sedate way of cultivating action than freaking out about it and being stressed out about it. So you guys, I mean, you really got a lot going on here. So I would do those things that I was talking about, like do some investigation into Archangel Metatron, uh, really check out Abraham Hicks and really amp up your gratitude practice. And this is gonna help this life change come in really, really quickly. Okay, so take care guys, bye.